Masking is one of the most important tools that you have in Affinity Photo, but it can also be the most difficult. In this video, I'll show you three techniques that you can use to mask like a pro. Let's get started. To get started, we'll open up this practice image, which you can get in the video description. So let's say that our model wants us to adjust her eyes. If we want to apply a few different adjustments to her eyes, we would need to apply an adjustment and then paint it on her eyes over and over for each adjustment that we want to apply. <sighs> that could take a while. Wouldn't it be easier if we could mask the eyes once and apply multiple adjustments to it? Well, good news, you can apply a grouped mask. So get ready, this is your first technique to mask like a pro. So before we create our grouped mask, we first need to apply an adjustment. So let's go down to our adjustments and let's apply a curves adjustment. Now we're going to be painting on a mask. So we want our curves adjustment to really stand out and look different from the rest of the picture. So I'm gonna bring the spline up quite a ways so we can see where we're painting. Now with our curves adjustment selected, we're going to put the curves adjustment into its own group. So press Command or Control G to group it. And now it's time to apply a mask to the entire group. So go down to the mask icon. And while holding down Alt or Option, let's click the mask icon. This has applied a black mask to our group. And just as a review, for masking, a black mask covers any adjustments that you have. And when you paint white on it, the adjustments will peek through where you've painted white. So let's go ahead and select our mask by pressing on the mask icon in the layer studio. And now we're gonna paint on her eyes so we can change the eye color. So let's press B for our paintbrush tool. Make sure we're painting with 0% hardness. And because this is a black mask we're painting on, let's make sure our color is set to white. Now we can go ahead and zoom in. We can adjust the brush size if we want by pressing the bracket keys, and we can get started on painting. All right, with our mask painted on, we can now double click on our curves adjustment so that it looks a little less extreme. So let's bring down that spline. And now we can apply as many adjustments as we want and they'll only be applied to the eyes. So to get started, Let's apply an HSL adjustment and change up this eye color. So we can adjust the hue, and make them a little bit more green. We could up the saturation if we want them to pop more. And that looks pretty good. I also think the eyes need a little bit more contrast to them, so I'm gonna apply a levels adjustment too. So I'll bring the black level slider over and maybe I'll bring down the white level a bit. And I think that's looking great. So now we can check and uncheck the group to see how our adjustments are looking. I'd say that definitely makes her eyes pop a lot more. So we tried our best to paint on this mask as best we could, but how do we know if we've covered her entire eye? It's kind of hard to tell. But here's your second trick to editing like a pro we can actually isolate the mask layer to make sure that we painted white everywhere that we intended to. So, while holding down Alt or Option, press on the mask icon. Ooh, <laughs> I thought I did a pretty good job painting, but you can definitely see where I've missed a few spots. So, with the paintbrush tool selected, which I still have it selected, I'm going to repaint over these parts in white. And to get back to your normal view, you can click on any of the other layers, and now we can see the whole picture again. Now, before, it looked pretty good, but now we can know for sure that all our adjustments are being applied to the eyes. So, with the eyes looking great, the mask looking pretty filled in and good, we're going to go ahead and edit another part of the picture using another masking technique. So, press Command or Control-0 to zoom out again. And overall, looking at the picture, it's a really great picture, 
but I think the right side of the picture is looking a little bit too dark, and I just want to lighten that side of the picture. So to do that, I'm first going to close up this group, and I'm going to select the group so that the adjustment I apply goes on top of it in the Layers panel. So let's go ahead and press the Curves adjustment, and we want to bring up the curve just a little bit. Now, the third technique to mask like a pro, we're going to apply a gradient mask to this adjustment. So go ahead and select the gradient tool. And now we can click and drag with the curves adjustment selected. And as another review, wherever it's white, our curves adjustment will be visible. And if we change this color stop to black, Where it's black, the curves adjustment will be invisible. So if I go ahead and turn this on and off, you can see that the picture has been brightened just on the right side, which is exactly what we wanted. These three masking techniques are so powerful and can be used in so many different ways. If you want to keep practicing your masking in a practical way, you can check out this tutorial on applying lipstick. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.